So I realized today, you guys, I haven't hung out with a lot of my dear friends in the past like month and a half. I have not. I wish I could say I have, but I have not because here's my thing. I've been trying to like get my shit right this past month, but then I really just wasn't making anything shake. I told myself at the beginning of the month, I was like, gotta make something shake, gotta make something shake. I made nothing shake. Everything was very stationary. Um, I've done a few like cool and awesome things this month, but like, actually, wait, I've hung out with so many dear friends this month. Sorry, I was not thinking too much because I've actually, wait, what? Bitch, <laughs> what? I think it's just that I haven't hung out with Joy a lot this month, and I, I hanging out with Joy is so much fun to me. Just sidekicking Joy and helping them out is so much fun to me because they are one of my very dear friends. And, um, they came over. <laughs> this was the sweetest thing in the whole world. This was the sweetest thing in the- oh, well, here's my thing. I will always- this is a complete side note. I will always and forever just cherish and love and appreciate my like bond of joy forever and ever and ever because joy is the first person that taught me how to have a village and how to find a village and how to like yeah take care of and be taken care of by my village oh i love that word my village you might because it's actually yeah like you know how people are like talking about village village Spillage Village. That's a song by Jid. Um, sorry, I turned off my AC so that y'all could hear me better. I was talking loud as fuck anyways. But, oh jeez, that was kind of helping me think because now I can hear the other room's AC and that's all I can think about. Oh, but basically, the other day, because I'm sick, I think I'm coming off it right now, but it just, it was, this past two days, it was worse than it's been, like, throughout the duration of being sick but because it's been maybe like I want to say a week since the worst of my cough start or since like my cough became prominent but it's been like the past two days three days no the past two days were like the worst of it you know um, cause I really didn't, I just wrote it off, especially because that happens so much to me where I'll get like a little something and then it'll be gone in like a day and a half. Um, but I just kept writing it off because that's usually the case. I haven't been like legitimately sick like this and I want to say like a year. Um, what was I saying now? Oh yeah. But Joy came over the other day because I've been so sick. And, um, <laughs> dropped off, like, a mattress pad and some sheets for me because I literally was talking about on Facebook. I was like, who has a full-size mattress pad and some sheets? Um, yeah. And so, of course, Joy, <laughs> of course, Joy had some because Joy has literally everything. That's the funniest thing ever to me. Joy has everything. Joy has absolutely everything. So, um, I get that from Joy, and then what happened after that? Um, what happened after that? Oh, um, they were like, they, I thought that they were going to drop it off, but then they ended up staying on the porch for a while to clean it off, um, and they gave me a ring, and they were talking about, um, yeah, just tell your roommates not to be afraid of whoever's on the porch i'm out here right now cleaning this thing and i was like um oh you're here and they were like yeah and i was like wait let me come and say hi and then i was like wait no i can't i'm literally up here taking a covid test right now turns out it's not covid but um yeah i was upstairs taking a test and that reminded me i'm too sick to be interacting with anyone um and so they were like, and I was like, you could still come in though. I'll have someone unlock the door downstairs. Um, and yeah, my friend that's staying with me um, on the couch went um, and unlocked the door. And Joy came in. Um, and what did they do? Oh, they texted me. They were like, do you want some tea? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that would be awesome. And then. Um, I was like, I don't have too much in the fridge, but there's a block of cheddar cheese and some breaded chicken in the freezer that you could throw on the air fryer. 
and they were downstairs chefing some shit up, making tea, and then they dropped it off outside my door. Um, and then literally yesterday, um, so they forgot their charge. So I made soup, actually. Later on that night, I made soup with, like, all the canned goods that I have. It was fucking incredible. It was fucking incredible. It was homemade chicken soup, which is a ton of canned vegetables and, like, herbs and homemade broth. Because I, I fuck up my homemade broths. I make so, such delicious homemade broths. So I made this fucking homemade broth and I made this del world famous chicken soup. It was so good. No recipe, no nothing. If there's one thing about me, I feel like I'm very, very, usually like in the past, like before this past week or like past two weeks, past month, really, I've been like, I used to be like super humble, low key down low about like, yeah, my like kitchen talents because I feel like for the most part, um, like, I've just been, I've just started cooking really in this past, like, literally in 2024, I've started cooking. Um, well, like, more than really ever before. Like, last year I was cooking a lot because it's not like, yeah, but it was mainly just, like, assembling stuff. Like, I would make, like, a deli sandwich or, like, spinach artichoke dip. Like, it was, like, stuff from recipes. It felt more like an assembly than, like, an actual, like, cooking scenario. Um, but this year, I've just, like, off the dome so many things because I've grown a lot of trust in my, like, ability to, like, yeah, spot out what'll taste good and stuff like that. It is so exciting because my friends love my cooking. I love cooking for my friends and my friends love my cooking. And so I made this goddamn chicken soup, um, cause I was sick. I was like, what do I have? Nothing. But I have a ton of ingredients let me make this goddamn chicken soup. So I made this goddamn chicken soup and it was incredible. And so I'm like, I send a text to Joy the next morning and I'm like, would you like some chicken soup? And Joy was like, yeah. Cause Joy also forgot their charger and they were like, oh my God, that scared the shit out of me. It's just kitty. It's just kitty. You know, like the song, it's just water. It's just kitty. It's just kitty. Hi <laughs> kitty. Um, another side note, I have to find a new roommate because my roommate, my roommate's the best roommate ever and I'm so sad that they're leaving because literally living with him has been like the best roommate experience I literally could ever ask for. They are so chill and so like patient and kind and understanding and like so community oriented and I absolutely love it. And I love, yeah, I just absolutely love it. And they have just two beautiful precious kitties and I'm like oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever, you know? Like, this is just the best thing ever. Like, I absolutely love these damn cats. I really, really love these damn cats. Um, look, all kitty! Feature film! Feature film. Hi, kitty. What are you up to, buddy? He's so cute. They are just so freaking cute. But, um, basically, what was my scenario even? What was I even talking about? Oh, and then, um, Joy's like, yay, 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 Gabby homemade cooking, which makes me so happy because I love, like, whenever, a lot of the time, I really struggle with identifying how, like, any of my traits or skills are, like, received by the outside world because I have a really hard time with, like, perception, um, so whenever I have, like, affirmations, like, external affirmations that, like, things are, like, a certain manner, whether it's good, bad, like, whether it's, like, yeah, good reflections or, like, constructive criticism, I really do appreciate having people that I trust output um, or input um, on, like, matters because it helps me just, like, gain a lot of perspective. Also because I like to know what yeah, it is like to experience me from someone else's point of view. And that's why I also love telling my friends what it's like to experience them from my point of view. Um, because I think it's such a valuable thing to know who you are to people. So whenever Joy was like, yay, Gabby, tell me cooking. I was like, fuck yeah. So I made Joy this large, um, cup of soup and then, um, just joy is someone that literally always and forever ever since my beginning of their, my friendship with them which literally has been like it ha we haven't been friends for like the absolute longest time but joy has really shown me what it's like yeah what it means to like 
yeah like yeah I don't know joy is just like I really really value my friendship with them like so dearly and I feel like I've oh geez oh <laughs> sorry I remembered something and I was like oh my gosh do I have an obligation right now I do not but <coughs> That's it. Oh, wow. Um, but what was I even about to say? It's just kitty. It's just kitty. It literally is just kitty. Like, what? It is truly just kitty. Um, I have such a unique looking face. I feel like I don't think about that a lot. Or, like, I don't... Yeah, because I'm, like... Like, recently, especially, I've worn, like, a lot of makeup. Ever since I've been bald, I have worn, like, a lot of makeup, low-key. But that low-key was purely coincidental because I did order, like, I made a big makeup order whenever I made, like, I low-key wear my band up in, like, late April, May adjacent. Oh, wait, no, late March, April adjacent. So, I had been wanting to re-up on, like, makeup because that used to be one of, like, my large creative hobbies and whenever like in the past like three years I just haven't like done too much with it so I wanted to place an order to like my favorite like company and I did which is so exciting for me because I don't order like stuff online really like ever like that had been my first time placing an order online for something in I want to say a year which is crazy to think about actually that's not true I ordered 50 notebooks from Staples and like eight packs of crayons from Staples as well um in like August but that was the last online purchase that I've made to date wow that's crazy yeah it was that and then that same I don't even want to say week I think it was literally that same day <coughs> I ordered um Hi, kitty. Hi, buddy. He is so freaking cute. Oh, Papa Bear and my mom. They are just so freaking cute. Oh, he's like posing. He's so freaking cute, you guys. I love these damn cats. But that's what I was going to say. Whenever I'm, look I'm looking for my roommate, for my new roommate, and one of my things that I'm putting in the post is must have cats. That's like low key, non negotiable because. <coughs> Jeez. I hate having a dry cough. It makes me feel very Victorian. Like. <coughs> You know how they do back in the day, you know? That makes me, I feel very like that. Like lots like that. That adjacent, one may say. Kitty adjacent. Hi, buddy. He is so freaking cute, you guys. I love these damn cats and I'm going to miss them so much. And I'm going to miss my roommate lots too. But I'm going to miss the kitties a lot as well. <coughs> Yeah, it's very Victorian. And I'm like, I don't like this one bit. This is a lot. Yeah, I don't like having a cough. This is crazy to me. It's... <coughs> <coughs> Especially when it's dry. It's like you have to cough the right way for, like, anything to be able to come up. Or for, your, for it to feel, like, relieving instead of just, like... Yeah. So... I've just been coughing a lot in pursuit of the right cough, but the more that you cough, the harder it is to do the right cough because you're more exhausted. Your respiratory system's like exhausted. <coughs> I've realized why people do this. I don't think that it's because knocking your chest helps a lot. I think it's because whatever muscle is activated right here, I think this is trapezius, but I don't really know too well. I think that that helps your respiratory system that might do something with the diaphragm or it tightens your diaphragm or loosens it. I don't know, but I think it does something with one of those muscles. I've realized the best way to learn things is literally to talk out of my ass, but to admit my ignorance so that I can figure out where I'm wrong. 
because I feel like the more that I like bring into my mind like all of the different things that I know like I know that the like deltoids trapezius and diaphragm are muscles that are in this relative I know which one the diaphragm is I believe that the deltoids are I think that this is the trapezius and these are the deltoids um but I feel like any time that I like talk about things that I don't know it basically just makes me like reminiscent of all of the things that I do know that surround it so it makes me more inclined to like use context clues to kind of piece things together rather than to immediately shut myself down and be like bitch you don't know what the fuck you're talking about like yeah I do not but that's the whole point of admitting my ignorances to myself and to other people because I'm like I learn a lot of things by admitting that I don't know what the fuck is going on by putting my best foot forward and admitting that I really don't know what the fuck is going on I've learned so many things that's how I learned stuff about cars literally just in this past like six months my kitty oh he's so freaking cute you guys he is just too cute oh he is too cute of his hands kitty loves being admired is something i've realized kitty absolutely loves being admired oh kitty's doing the thing that dogs do with the little leg thing my dog never did that kitty is really dog um what is it called adjacent hi kitty kitty he's so cute you guys oh my god another thing i really want to work on this year 2024 i need to get more mobility like very badly one big goal that i have is to get more mobile because i feel like i don't have lots actually that's not true i have lots of mobility i feel like it's just starting to not be what it used to because I don't stretch as often as I used to I've been very sedentary this past like couple months I really I saw my roller skates today I'm glad that I've kept them out in the open I think I'm gonna try to go roller skating but I have no good roller skating pants but I'm like okay big goals I think I'm gonna have to take a nap I think that's kind of an inevitable reality but I think what I'm gonna do is Hi, kitty. I'm gonna take a nap, wash the damn dishes so that I can wash my clothes in the sink because I wash the clothes by hand. But I'm gonna wash the dishes and then, yeah, clean the sink and wash my clothes and then so that I can wear up the last of my clothes right now. And then I can go roller skating and then I'll post things on Facebook Marketplace and I'll look for a roommate. And then maybe I'll go curb shopping. You guys, this illness, this Victorian illness, this mysterious epidemiology mystery, Victorian style, is handing my ass to me. It's handing my absolute ass to me. Hi, kitty. I missed you, Papa Bear. He hasn't been around so lately because I always keep my door closed because it's a damn AC. But it's actually not that hot today. I've realized it helps a lot not to check the weather if I am trying not to be so aware of how <laughs> people are, everyone's talking about this oppressive heat. Facts. Facts. This heat is everything but like jolly and autonomous. It's very oppressive. It's incredibly oppressive. And someone's dropping off a ton of books to me tonight and I have lots of books that I have to give to the little mini libraries. Or I might just take them, I might take them to the, because a lot of the mini libraries are really only in the gentrified areas. So A, that would be a hike. And B, I think it would make more sense to give them to the library libraries. Um, yeah, but I'm super excited. Cause that'll be awesome and then I'll be getting more books so I because I have to find a new main book that's another thing I have to put on my schedule and I have to look for another job because I like my job right now but I'm like you guys and I want to paint I haven't painted in so long I want someone ideally I want to see if someone can take me to get groceries tonight and then also to family dollar because I have like I want to get some red paint and some more paint brushes. 
um, and a hot glue gun if those are available there. I believe that they are. I don't see why they wouldn't be. I feel like that would be something that I would find in the dollar store. Kitty! He's just such a happy boy. Especially since he's been able to go outside lately. He's been really, really happy. And it's been making me really happy by proxy. Because I'm like, it makes me so happy to know that Kitty feels satiated. You know? Because it made me so sad. He would just go to the door and scream. He would just go to the door and meow. I can't even do it right because I'm all sick and twisted. Meow. That was just so sad for him. The heart broke. The heart broke. But it's not my cat to make my decisions with. So whenever my roommate decided that it was time. I was so excited for Kitty. I was so excited. Yeah. Hi, kitty. Hi, kitty. Oh, you're so cute. And I think he knows whenever... Oh, my gosh, wait. Okay, yeah. I need to make something shake. Today, I have an important conversation also to have today. And then, um, I have lots of things to do. I think just I've been very sedentary and kind of out of myself this past few days. Because I'm also on my period, which absolutely freaking sucks. Like, you guys, it is so uncomfortable. I've been on my period, and I've been constipated, which I didn't think was possible. I didn't think me being constipated was possible, period, because I, I am, like, a frequent, like, a, I have so many miles. And I'm a frequent flyer. Let's say that. I shit very frequently. Like, it is not something foreign to me. It is not something that I struggle with. Like, part of my daily routine is to shit at least, like, three to four times. Like, that has never been an issue for me. So whenever this past week happened, it kind of hit me like a brick. And I feel like that's been, like, really hard because it's so... It scares the fuck out of me whenever I have things going on with my body that I don't know how to, like deal with like it really scares the shit out of me because I'm like I really just don't know how to do that like I don't know like how to deal with that because I've never really had a lot of bodily complications um but I think after I broke my leg in senior year just everything started freaking me out whenever something's going that's not even true I think whenever I'm experiencing like anything to do with yeah, just whenever it's like an unknown pain to me, like one that I've just never really fam been familiar with, that starts to freak me out really badly. And that's what this has been because I've just been feeling so uncomfortable and like going to sleep has been so hard because I've been coughing all night and then I'm so constipated and I'm like, what the fuck is going on, you guys? What the fuck is going on lately? That's been one of my big questions. Of this past week the week before was so incredible which is why I'm just like what is up with the what's up you guys I just don't know what's up lately and it's been kind of stressing me out oh Katie's getting all comfortable he is just so freaking cute I also need someone to give me a freaking ride to um, this thrift store so that I could pick up some more books that'll be awesome Thrift store, Dollar Tree, or thrift store, Dollar Store, and groceries. Awesome. And bookstore, because there's another bookstore I want to go to. I'm always keeping like mental notes of all the places that are like nearby that I look you need to go anytime someone asks me or someone can give me a ride somewhere because I'll like send out the signal many a time and I'll be like guys what's up with what's up anyone that has a car can get a ride because I have a car but it broke down like seven months ago and I've been slowly getting it fixed over the past month which has been super awesome but um it's not fixed yet but I'm super generous with my car too so I'm just like Whenever, yeah, like, I'm really not sweating it because I know I'm going to pay it forward. Um, but also, I'm not really too worried about that in 
like, as a general concept because, um, yeah, with anyone in my village, like, it's really just not transactional. It's not like it's being, like, yeah, where every time it's going to be, like, an eye for an eye or even, like, tabs are being kept. It's more just, like, everyone at their capacity for those that have done for, you know? I like that. I like that. Yeah. So it's just like whenever people have like, cause like there'll be months where I'm just like off my game in every sense of the word. But then as soon as I have the capacity to get, also because it is a liberating thing to do to help other people. I feel like a lot of people always um, assume that like time and money are the only ways to um, assist people. <coughs> I feel like time is one of them that like by proxy kind of it's always going to be like a factor but I feel like that has just been something that I've learned to prioritize in any of like my career pursuits my professional pursuits my personal pursuits I always need to make sure that I can afford myself time because time gives me autonomy which allows me to help more people and help myself so um yeah like sometimes I just don't have bread <laughs> I don't have bread but I have things and I have stamina and I curb shop and get things for free and give them to the people that I love and I create things and I create art and I create music and I create joy and I create energy and I create so many different things that I'm like just not at all worried about transactional reciprocity. That's not something that's really on my radar is like too big a deal really ever because it's like I am enough. For the people around me i am enough for myself it has literally been only the past six months has been the time in which i've been able to actually say that which is crazy to me that like i was able to make such but i think genuinely it is such a healing thing to do to learn how to accept help from other people and to learn how to help each other from things that don't just yeah center around like resources that people don't always have like I don't always have time I don't always have money but what I do have is yeah fucking stamina and creativity so the ways that I can I show people that I care about them and what I can is a hell of a lot better than me sitting around freaking myself out that my best isn't enough whenever it literally has never not been enough in the six months just six months that I have like actually started offering myself as a resource to other people in more ways than like emotional labor or time labor or money. It has literally been so transformative and it has shown me that I am an asset to literally any community that I could ever find myself inside of. I'm an incredible asset too. And it's my favorite thing ever to sit here and be able to say this because like literally this past six months wouldn't have been as incredible or as possible as it has been if those hadn't been things that I've learned to instill within myself so as much as like I feel like I've been really hard on myself for being really slow with like productivity I feel like character development has been going crazy this whole year like 2024 has been I want to say one of the most developmental years of I think probably the most developmental year of my life and I think it kind of all started with my car breaking down <laughs> Yo. Everything happens for a freaking reason. And yes, it sucks. And yes, it literally is so hard to get my car fixed. But I'm like, so many different things. Wait! Literally just, oh my god. wait yeah like so many different things have happened literally just because I haven't been able to like drive that's why I'm like whenever I get my car back up and running I think I'm purely gonna use it for mutual aid and like things that I absolutely could not do on the bus like helping people move even helping people move I've done that on the bus oh my god I've done that on the bus actually a couple times <laughs> but um 
I think I'm gonna use it, yeah, to help people move that can't afford, like, U-Haul, be like, just throw me gas money, and, like, if I have the time, or if someone else wants to use my car, go the fuck ahead, just let me see how licenses, insurance, fucking, if you want to use my car, do it, but have your AAA, like, whatever the fuck. Um, cause you know what was crazy to me? One of the crazy things that actually opened, yeah, that like is inclining me to open the door to people for actually, Ooh, Ooh, I am really protective and weird about my car. I did forget about that. Actually. I don't think I'd like anyone driving my car, but I definitely, yeah, I have an, um, and will help people move literally when the fuck ever I helped two of my friends move whenever I had my car and I helped. Two of my friends move in 2024. And I did it as a gig whenever I got wage thefted. I will always and forever think about that. That was the craziest happening of my 24. That's not true. That's not true. But I've just, just done, oh my gosh. I've just done so many awesome and like incredible things with my 2024 that I'm like, this is so cool. Like, I love this life that I'm setting up for myself. I am consistently confused by like all of my aspirations I feel like it's so hard to like I don't know but I'm like I feel like a lot of things that I've done this year have just made me a lot more comfortable yeah within myself and my capacities and my ability to like be a contributing member of society like it's so exciting it is so exciting to evolve and it's so exciting to have like was there something on my mind no i'm gonna go pick up more stickers with needles so that i can do another tattoo soon that's like the ideal scenario. I think I want to do another one. Like, I think whenever I clean my room, that'll be really nice. And I need to make a list of things that I need. Yeah. my list of lists is officially 57 or no I'm on the 57th page it is 64 pages and it has been I want to say like a month oh my god wait I literally have all of these written down ride to goodwill wait places okay Wait, maybe it's been like more than a month. Oh, it was since my birthday. Because I remember, right? Bitch. Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. Oh my God. Oopsie, oopsie. Never mind. Oopsie. Never mind. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need to go through this whole thing and just like give it a nice stare. Or wait. Okay, wait. Fuck. What was I even doing? Oh. Places I need rides to. <laughs> ah, bitch. Okay. Awesome. What else? Oh, that's it. Damn beach. Uh, bitch, I need to go to the beach. I need to find another fucking job. I don't know. I need to find one. What am I looking for? Um. some public health job 
Because another thing that I'm realizing is like, it is low-key very important for me to get like job experience in places that just don't have the yeah the finances to be like paying crazy amounts because as much as like yeah I'm trying to get my bread up and pay off my debt as much as the next guy like realistically I have a lot of like privileges in the job market to the point that I feel like if I'm kind of wanting to have the amount of like I don't know like if I'm wanting to have the level of community prominence that I want to in the future because of like yeah my ability to assist other people I need to be able to learn how to assist other people that like paywalls are separating me from or no that wait without letting a paywall separate you from yeah it, which is why I'm like ugh cause I just don't know where to go about getting a job I don't know that's something that I need to put lots of thought into. But I'm just like, y'all. And I also have this really cool project that I want to do at some point this year to like have a ton of like, um, yeah, like black artists do like murals in a lot of the local schools. I think that that would be so freaking cool. Because um, I have just so many like visual arts friends and I think it would be so awesome to like, yeah like go make art like everywhere I think that'd be awesome I'm like a big proponent I'm like life is a fucking movie so anything that's like really like oh I love the theatrics of it I'm doing it I'm fucking doing it like we're making we're gonna make these fucking murals like I, I just love it you guys I just love it we're gonna make these murals Black teen youths band together to make murals. I fucking love murals, you guys. Like, that would just be so awesome. Wait, I'm not even a teen anymore, but I'm 20. Bitch, I'm 20. Bitch, I'm 20. <laughs> Bitch, I'm 20. It's just kidding. I need to post my damn items on Facebook Marketplace and hang up the rest of my stuff on my walls. <laughs> oh geez I need to make a cumulative list of things that I could do this month to make money you know what's kind of funny that I'm thinking of starting to do I think I'm going to start commissioning collages wait I can do. Is that funny or is that like cool? That might be kind of cool. Maybe I can back them with cardboard because I have lots of cardboard. Mm. I don't know you guys. I don't know what I feel about commissioning anything. Really. I don't think I like it very much. I think I like creating things for people but I don't think that I like selling them to people. Things I could do to make money this month. I'll just say things I could do to make money. Period. Um, I can sell clothes, sell furniture, sell household items. Um, I need to find some random trade that will let me work for them. I need to find... Yeah, people that could use like a freaking sidekick on Facebook. I need to I need to start working as a freaking mechanic or as like whatever the fuck you guys I don't know. <coughs> I need to find now yeah, like a car apprenticeship. Oh jeez. It's just kitty. It's just kitty. It literally is just kitty. 
Wait, I can make jean pillows. I had this idea earlier in the month. Oh my god, am I full of baloney? Yeah, I'm totally full of baloney. I think that that's objectively actually a really good idea, though. Like, I'd buy it. Wait, that's such a good idea. Where the fuck is my needle and thread? Wait, let me also... Oh, wait, I have to get a needle and thread from the dollar store. Okay, wait. Actually, did I bring my needle and thread with me back from the home? Dollar store needs. Hot glue gun. Um, needle and thread. Red acrylic paint. More popcorn bins or buckets. Yeah, I think that's literally it. That's not sure. There's definitely more. Okay, jean pillows. I'm totally doing that. That's like objectively actually a really good idea. Okay, time to watch a movie. <laughs> time to watch a fucking movie, bitch. Time to watch a fucking movie. Like, time to watch my movie. And then I'll do something productive later on today. I'm kidding. I'm going to look for a job, I think, while I watch my movie. Um, Because I watched Hunger Games yesterday and balled out for, like, hours. Sent lots of very professional emails. Stuff of that sort. Okay, I'm going to go. Bye. <laughs>